So my Garmin 4 Runner 945 has finally arrived. This is the follow-up to the 935, which has been on my wrist for two years. And this adds a lot of new features such as music, Garmin P, training status, maps, and all that have been upgraded as well. I do think from a general functionality point of view, I think it's a minor upgrade from the 935. But for me, the addition of music support was enough to justify an upgrade because it means that I can leave the MP3 player or the phone, leave it at home, and I can just run with my watch and Bluetooth headphones. Now, I will do some other videos in the future. I'll give you my first impressions and I'll, I'll show you the menu system and show you how it all works. And then I'll do a final review after I've tested it for a few weeks. But in this video, what I want to do is just show you what is in the box. So this is the Garmin 945. This is what it looks like when you open it up. So in this box we get a large manual in many different languages. Shows you how to connect it all. Important safety and product information. We've got a watch clasp there and then we have the charger. So this is what you will see when you load it up for the first time. And you can see on the back here, it pretty much looks the same. The main difference I would say there, obviously you've got 4 runner 945 at the top instead of 935. But uh, the heart rate sensor there is probably the main difference on the back. Everything else kind of looks the same. So I'll take the, the charger off for a second, just so that I can show you the difference. We've got the 935 on the left hand side, we've got the 945 on the right hand side. 935, 945, and you can see in the screens there, it's a little bit more colourful with the 945, but from a button point of view, from a you know strap size and weight point of view, it's almost identical. There really isn't much difference. And yeah, the menu system and all that looks like it's going to be the same. You can see it there though, it's maybe not coming through in the camera, but this display is a lot clearer, it's a lot brighter. Not that I had ever had any problems with this being faded or anything like that. Um, but I mean, maybe this is a brightness issue. Maybe I do have to adjust the settings. But first impressions are that the screen is a little bit, you know, it's just a little bit brighter, a little bit nicer with the display. So thanks for watching this. I will look at the 945 in more detail. I really just wanted to show you what was in the box. And as a reminder, you get the charger, you get an additional clasp if you do want it. You get the 945 manual and you get the information safety and product information booklet, which no one will ever read. But apart from that, there really isn't much in the box. So there you go, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you want to see any future videos. I will do a few follow-up videos. I'm going to be testing this. I'm going to be going out for a run later on. I want to test this as much as I can because if I did a review tomorrow, I'd probably say everything was amazing. You do have to spend a few weeks testing a device like this in order to see what works and what doesn't. I really do want to test everything uh, thoroughly to, to see exactly how it compares with the 935 and just how it compares to other sports watches in general. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. If you've got any questions about the 945, please do leave a comment below and I'll try to address them in a future video. But until then, thanks for watching and take care.